Welcome to Canyons News. I'm Samantha Bacaro, and tonight we'll be talking about how community centers are coming together to bring back holiday joys, how small businesses are trying to keep up during this global pandemic, how bike trails are bringing people from outside Santa Clarita to enjoy healthier activities, and also a showcase that brings out the talent in our community. With news from across the Santa Clarita Valley, this is Canyons News. Due to the pandemic, Thanksgiving struggles did not have to be a worry, as community centers in Canyon Country and New Hall came together to create this event that brought the turkeys to their table. On Tuesday, November 23rd, the community centers and partner with Parkway Motor Cars held an event dedicated to helping families not worry about putting food on the table. Around 100 families at each center were given the opportunity to celebrate the holiday by being provided tote bags filled with items, along with a $50 gift card to help purchase the meals. Canyon Country Community Center Supervisor Julie Cardin said, COVID has taken all the joys out of the holidays, so this is a way of bringing it back. The children were able to enjoy this event by playing games, such as ring toss and indoor golf, making decorations for the table, such as wreaths and main turkeys, even with the opportunity to take a picture with Parkway the Penguin. They do encourage these families to participate in other events in these centers due to the decrease in visitors during the pandemic and hopes this will bring the community together. The centers include after-school programs for all kids along with teens, youth sports, and more. The Newhall Community Center is holding a winter magic celebration on December 17th to 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. For families, there would be arts and crafts along with entertainment. I'm Samantha Bocaro, reporting for Canyons News. Due to the pandemic, small businesses everywhere are having trouble staying on their feet. Even local stores and restaurants are trying their best to stay up. Evan Avora with the latest. Maybe you have driven past this restaurant or possibly seen their post on Instagram. Kim Nowinski has been keeping her doors open just as her mother-in-law has in her past. My mother-in-law was a server at Good Neighbor in Studio City, I think for 15 or 20 years. And it had passed uh, from person to person and she was finally able to buy it. Now Kim owns her own restaurant with her husband and tries her best to keep the customers happy and welcome the new ones every day. It's all because of mom, <laughs> quite honestly. Uh, my husband is really the restaurateur I'm just the girl that he says, hey, can you make this? And I'm like, hmm, yes, I can. And so that's where our dynamic works really well. But even during a pandemic, Kim handled every situation with her employees and kept following the guidelines from the government on how they can open again. Hopefully the COVID uh, pandemic will start to fade away and um, people will come back and people will feel more comfortable um, and we just hope to create a place where people can have memories. But through all the chaos the pandemic has brought, Kim will keep trying her best to find joy in the little things in life. Enjoy people, enjoy confusion, enjoy chaos, enjoy building relationships and enjoy every time somebody comes back in with a new person because you know that you're creating a relationship with that person and love your neighbor. Reporting for Cannes News, I'm Evan Avora. Even in the midst of a global pandemic, many residents are hitting the bike trails in Santa Creative Valley to stay active and enjoy healthier activities, even if it means traveling great distance. Here is Jeremy Berardo. It's no secret COVID-19 closures over the last two years has had many people take up healthier activities such as cycling to take their minds off the pandemic and focus on their own overall health. Even after moving to Colorado in the middle of a pandemic, Santa Clarita Valley cycling veteran Landau Cedeno used this time to fuel his passion and to continue to ride his favorite trails. I was pretty much born and raised here. I've been riding the Santa Clarita bike path for I don't even know how long they've had a ton of uh, trail additions and um, it's probably one of the best paths 
um, that I've come across really in the multiple states I've been to. Although he now lives over a thousand miles away, Cedeno has many reasons to continue to ride the Santa Clarita bike path. Uh, it's a really mellow path. Uh, it's great for beginners. It's great for experts. You got the length of it. it goes all the way through the whole every single part of town. I mean, you really can't ask for more. It's extremely safe. And um, yeah, it's just a good time anytime you hop on. Cedeno has always remained extremely committed and dedicated to his cycling lifestyle, especially in the midst of COVID-19, as he used that time to work on himself. Uh, COVID definitely brought out the, uh, the inner cyclist in me. Um, typically I was doing one to two rides a week and during COVID I was almost riding every single day. So it's a big improvement for my health, uh, both physically and mentally. Although he lives in Colorado, Cedeno will always consider himself a Santa Clarita native and will continue to enjoy the bike trails for years to come. For Canyons News, I'm Jeremy Barreto. The 10x10 Variety Night is an event held by the Maine and New Hall, which showcases all kinds of different talents. Here's more with Brig Haro. The 10x10 Variety Night held by the Maine and New Hall is a free monthly event every first Thursday of the month. The event has all kinds of talents and performers, such as musicians, poets, this is the poem where I tell you about the knot in my throat when we left our kid for three weeks amongst strangers who promised they'd remind him to brush his teeth. And it even shows short films. The way that the main is able to find talent that performs at the 10x10 is through networking. And they also have regulars that like to come out and perform as well. Yeah, uh, we have Jeff. Uh, you saw Jeff Ram tonight. He's a regular, and obviously you can tell he's very good. He's a great comedian. And thing I learned about bidets is no matter how excited you are when you find out there's a bidet in your bathroom, never walk up and just turn on the bidet. Because it's just, it's a mess. That's... The 10x10 10 10 variety show is set up so that if you may not like the 10 minutes of a certain performance, you may like the next 10 minutes that are to come. While there may be regular performers or talents at the 10x10, 10 10, each time you go, it will always be a different show. Reporting for Canyons News, I'm Greg Harrell. That's it for this episode of Canyons News. For more stories and information, visit us at canyonsnews.com. I'm Samantha Picaro. Thanks for watching.